welcome to another Cheat Meal Monday. And today, I'm up bright and early. In fact, before I started filming, it wasn't even light out. So I have my LED light lantern that I like to use because it's much safer when you're working outside and it's dark instead of the oil lamps where you actually have a flame. I'm really excited to share with you this week all kinds of projects I'm working on. I'm going to be canning 10 pounds of ground beef. I'm going to be working on my tomato seedlings. I'm going to be working on some new projects. I have a whole list of things that I want to do this week and I'm really excited to share them with you. I can't wait to share with you today's Cheat Meal Monday and it's frugal food. It's really good and it's using your crock pot. So what we have are potatoes that are starting to sprout. We have some carrots that really need some help because they're way past their prime and a bowl of water. So today's Cheat Meal Monday, we are going to use up some potatoes that a lot of people would say are too far gone, but yet they have so much nutrition in them yet, and they're good. So we're going to peel the potatoes, we are going to peel and cut the carrots, and let's get started on our Cheat Meal Monday, because it's a good one. Let's get started in our kielbasa sausage supper. Now this recipe is actually a pressure cooker recipe, but we are going to convert it into a crock pot recipe. So many people love the crock pot recipes and most everybody has a crock pot. What it calls for is potatoes, carrots, sausage, and a little and cabbage and a little bit of some seasonings. So let's see how it turns out. I've never made this before. It calls for four carrots. Well, I had a lot of carrots that needed to get used up, so I am not going to measure. As you're going to find in my videos, I do very little measuring. Everything I do is pretty much to taste and what appeals to me. So I don't normally measure. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take what I think is four carrots. And then it calls for four potatoes peeled and sliced. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have a lot of work to do today and I thought the crock pot would be a perfect way to cook my meal without me having to tend to it. Now these potatoes are rather thick so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut them a little thinner. I will add more if I see I need to and I had potatoes that really needed to get used up and I figured I'll just peel them and use them this week in different meals. So as you see what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them a little bit finer but it's going to be in the crock pot for a long time so it doesn't really matter. Alright, I think that looks a lot better. It calls for a half a cup of apple juice and as you know I had a video canning my own apple juice with my steam juicer so we're going to go with a half a cup. Now the liquid I will measure. So we're going to go with a half a cup of apple juice. Two teaspoons of mustard, any variety. Well I have this mustard so we're going to use this. We're going to use two teaspoons of mustard. Now it calls for a head of cabbage. So we're going to get this cabbage out. I'm going to wash this cabbage and then we are going to use the whole head. Now this cabbage has been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. So all I have to do is peel off the leaves. We're going to go ahead and wash this and then we'll add the cabbage to our meal. It says to just cut it in wedges. So that's what we're going to do. As you know, cabbage really cooks down. So while it looks like a lot of cabbage, it really isn't. And the core, the chickens will get and they love it. I'm going to go ahead and chop it just a little bit finer. Now as this cooks in the crock pot, if it needs a little more liquid, I will add a little more apple juice to it. 
can add a little bit of some smoked sausage and this comes from a distant relative of mine John Martin here in Pennsylvania. What we're going to do is it calls for the smoked sausage to be browned so what we're going to do is we are going to cut it up and bite sized pieces and we are going to brown it and then we will add it to the crock pot. Now like I said this is a pressure cooking recipe but I'm not using the pressure cooker today. So we're just going to go ahead and slice this up. I'm going to brown it just a little bit in butter and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to cook it in the crock pot. And I'm going to estimate about five to six hours in the crock pot. Those of you who do not eat pork can go ahead and you can make this without the pork. All right, I'll get back to you when this sausage is all browned. All right, the sausage kibasa is all browned, so we're going to add that to the crock pot. So there you go, my friends. A very frugal meal. The sausage for me was the most expensive, and that was $2.50. It was only a half a pound. It calls for a pound, but we go lighter on the meat and more on the vegetables. I go ahead set it on the crock pot setting and I'll get back to you in a few hours and I'll show you what it looks like. Very simple. It is a head of cabbage, it is four carrots, four potatoes, preferably a pound of sausage. I used a half a pound of kibasa, one half cup of apple juice and two teaspoons of mustard and that is your prepared mustard. I went ahead and I added another half a cup of the apple juice, so one cup of apple juice. It doesn't call for any pepper or salt. We will add that when it's finished. Pop the lid on it and now we can get working on some other homestead chores. It's my cabbage and it's my potatoes and the kielbasa sausage and the carrots. Behind me is my greenhouse that I got last year as a product review and I can't wait to share some videos with that. And also I want to share with you, I got these as a product review too from a company called Aive. Aive and they are tops for mason jars. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm, it's amazing. You can use this for anything. I'm going to give you the link in the description box below if you're interested in these. It's a great product and I'm going to be using it for all kinds of things. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to enjoy the sun and the nature. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -mm. From Fanny's Diary, we are on March the 25th, 1943. Today, I helped Mrs. Henry Longenecker to knot another quilt. This is quilt number five for her. And I am really pleased with the results. I hope later this week I can plant some peas. It's been a very cold and damp season so far. To say thank you for all of your words of wisdom and your reaction into Sunday's video. It meant a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. And I thank you guys so much for everything.